a single text file uh, which is included in the simulation. Uh, it includes all parameters of interest. So it allows you to essentially, okay, this is what I'm going to change. I want to put that. Anything you want to change, you put it in the parameter file. Okay. Uh, convenient way to organize your design and important parameters. And convenient way to change parameters read on analysis. That, that's the importance of the parameter file. And we'll show you all of this in real time. So bear with me for a few minutes uh, as we go through this uh, background. This is an example of the parameter file. Uh, hard to see, perhaps. Uh, here, basically, you can write comments on the top. For example, here we are modeling a, I don't know whether you can see it on your your book, yeah, you may be able to see it in your book. So we have defined, uh, here is uh, on the top, we have the back MF constant uh, defined, and we defined A as a constant here. We have got uh, also uh, uh, rise time, fall time, so the rise time, fall time, this is for the back EMF. 1 by frequency by 12, which is basically 30 degrees. Uh, you have got pulse width, which is 1 by frequency by 3, right? R motor, which is 181 milli ohms. The inductance of the motor is 242 micro -henries. And then delay 1, here you can see, is 30 degrees. 1 by frequency by 12 is 30 degrees, right? That's time by 12, so that's 30 degrees. And then delay 2 is delay 1 plus 1 by frequency by 2. So delay 2 is 180 degrees with delay 1, right? And delay 3 is delay 1 plus 120 degrees. So, so, so we have built delay, six delays that way which we use extensively during, during simulation. And then you also have a gate, gate TR. This is mainly for generating the square wave. 10 microsecond TR, 10, and this is probably too much. It should be one microsecond. But then if you're trying to speed up your simulation, this has to be bigger. If you make it one microsecond, then you reduce your simulation step. Uh, to smaller than one microsecond, because otherwise you'll have inaccurate results. Gate drive voltage, five volts, and then we have some type one amplifier parameters, which we can ignore for the time being. I don't pay any attention to this. Uh, and then the PWM parameters. And I'll show you, this is a very interesting PWM function, uh, which I like a lot, because it is a whole lot more simpler and robust than what we have used before. So PWM generation, we can set the high and low, and then PWM frequency and the gain, which helps us with the convergence gain. Uh, and I'll explain that in a minute also what the gain means. And then we have got limiter block, 0.95 and 0.05. Now, the limiter block is more of a practical insertion uh, than a theoretical one. Because in real life, if you don't have limiter block, uh, you run into uh, shoot-through issue. 